We're representing Dawson Peters. Um, this Calvo is going to be the buyer and the city is the seller. Um, a little bit on the history of Dell. It was founded in 1984 by Michael Dell. It's currently number 25 in the top uh, Fortune 500, 500 companies. They have a, a, approximately about 78,700 um, team members across the globe, and they serve to businesses, institutional organizations, and they is the storage area network. Uh, it's a 3U disk enclosure, holds up to 15 drives, and supports up to 64 servers and 60 drives. And um, their net revenue has been increasing, also earnings per share have been increasing, and revenue for the lo last four quarters has totaled $57.9 um, Headquarters are in Central Texas, and it also has regional headquarters all across in all of those different areas. Um, the buyer is Anaheim Union High School District, and their mission statement is, the, um, is this right here. The Anaheim Union High School District, a partnership of students, parents, staff, and community will provide each student with a high-quality educational program in a safe, motivating learning um, environment that promotes high academic achievement based on a strong foundation of knowledge and skills, development of habits and attitudes for a lifetime of learning, exploration of and preparation of broad range of career and interest areas. And um, Storage Area Network is actually going to help improve in all of these areas for them. Um, under the Anaheim Union High School District are the following high schools. Um, a little bit of information on the, um, the buyer is he is the Director of Technology and he's been the buyer of te um, Director of Technology since six years. They are currently using direct attached storage um, It's as an application for the district servers. And they're interested in combining all the servers into uh, one database, increasing the performance of their school district. Um, the buyer has already met the seller at the Storage Area Network seminar, so um, they're already a little bit interested in purchasing it. A little bit of summary, um, SAN is going to increase the overall efficiency, increase the hardware's performance, the staff productivity, and provide use of management. The objective today is to discuss how SAN is going to be beneficial for our Anaheim Union High School District and to sell a storage area network to Anaheim Union High School District and begin implementation training by next week. So let's begin. That's our background. Very good. <laughs> It was very interesting. Um, I actually learned a lot from Dell's presentation. You guys did a wonderful job, if I may say so. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Um, actually, as you know, I'm here from Dell. Um, before um, we, I'm sorry, I, I think you'd be glad to know that we've been in Kamenia Stan in a lot of school districts mm -hmm. and it's been working out really well. But before we get started, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Okay. So, what type of storage unit do you use right now? Uh, currently, we use a direct attached storage, um, that's DOS, where all of our servers lie on different uh, okay. data. Okay, and how many servers exactly? Uh, currently, 35 servers. Wow, 35 servers. Okay, with each with different applications? Um, for the most part, yes. Uh, actually, most of the applications uh, have reached their limit of storage, so we need to allow enough storage space for more data. Therefore, we need to allow more servers for more applications. Okay, and now from my knowledge about DOS is that um, when one of those servers breaks down that you're not actually able to obtain that data from that server. Does that ever happen to you? Or? Um, yes, it becomes very time consuming actually you not know, having that data available. Okay, and how much time do you think you need to lose? Um, probably I'd say about half a day. Half a day, really. And how often do you think that happens? It can be like once a week, I'd right? say. So, I'm assuming you work eight hours a day with you and your staff? Sure. Um, so, four hours a, week, um, a day lost because of that. So, that translates into about two days a month, mm -hmm. almost about a week and a half, a year, losing time because of service breaking down. Is that correct? Yes. 
Um, actually, now that you mention it, I guess, um, I never thought about it like that, so. Okay. Now, um, would it help if you were able to um, obtain all that data at all times? Of course. Um, it would help us tremendously. Now, how, in what ways would it help? Um, well, first of all, I think it would actually increase our efficiency and it would also increase the performance of our hardware. Okay, and if I can show you a way that SAM can actually increase your efficiency and increase the performance of your hardware, would you be willing to hear one? Of course, I'm very interested. Okay, now before we get talking about SAM, um, besides your software, is there anyone else we should be talking with to make a decision today? Uh, no, I'll be making that decision today. Okay, and... Um, if I can show you today how powerful SAM can be for you in your school district, um, would you be willing to purchase a SAM today? Um, well, that all depends on Katie on what we accomplished today and what I hear from you. So. Fair enough. All right, then let's get started. Okay. Am I correct in assuming that uh, efficiency is one of your main concerns? Uh, yes. You okay. Are. And um, I know from uh, uh, just to let you know what SAM necessarily will do for you is it will consolidate all those 35 servers into one um, database for you. And actually, SAM works on a two-way uh, uh, system, like we mentioned before with servers breaking down. Um, if one of your servers breaks down with our two-way system, you're actually um, able to obtain all that information from that broken down server um, at all times. So how does that work with servers? Sounds good. Good. Um, a huge concern of DOS users, I know, um, is that a server, just a single server, will have a maximum capacity as well as a maximum uh, processing power. Do you ever find yourself in that situation? Um, actually, we do. Um, that's the reason why we have so many servers currently. So. Okay, I totally understand that. Now, SAM will actually <coughs> allow you to disperse your storage um, that SAM will actually do, disperse it to any of your applications. So, um, how do you think that would benefit you? Well, I won't have wasted storage space just sitting there, exactly. never being touched. Exactly, yes. So, um, SAM will actually uh, utilize 85% of its storage space whereas DOS only utilizes 50. So would you agree that um, utilizing your storage space would increase your uh, uh, increase your hardware performance? Um, yes, actually, that all seems very helpful, but um, I'm also a little bit concerned about um, how DOS is going to be uh, backing up our data now since we currently do use the tape backup. Um, how is my data being backed up using SAM? Um, good question. I'm actually glad you asked that. With SAM, we actually um, will have, with the installation of SAM, there's an application that you can install. It's a one-time application um, that will allow you to do a disk-to-disk -disk backup, and so you'll be able to only uh, take backup altogether. Um, with that one-time installation, you didn't have to worry about tape backup. That sounds great. Okay, and um, with your um, increased efficiency, like you're talking about, um, with your increased efficiency, I think that will drastically improve your staff management. I know how a lot of school districts um, are limited personnel. Do you feel like you have limited personnel? Um, well, yes, currently we do have a limited personnel, and that creates even a bigger problem for us because we're trying to run DOS instead of getting tasks which need to get done. So we have to be aware of how our staff's uh, time is actually being utilized. Okay, uh, and just so you know, um, with the <coughs> new staff, we'll actually be able to manage six to 12 times more capacity than they do with DOS. Wow, that's very impressive. Um, but this all seems very useful for our school district, but I'm a bit concerned about the pricing of it. It seems awfully expensive. How much is it actually going to cost me? I totally understand that you're a little worried about price. Um, I actually, actually want to show you how um, they can actually save you money instead of okay. costing you anything. Um, with those 35 servers like we talked about, um, consolidating one database and more servers if you wish, um, it will only cost you about $50,000. And I know $50,000 sounds like a lot of money, but like you said before, you work eight hours, correct? Correct. Sure. So if there's about 240 working days in a year, that's without vacation. So if you times 240 by eight hours a day, that's about 2,000 hours a year. And if you divide 50,000, divide by those 2,000 hours, you'll get about $25. So that's $25 an hour that you'd be paying for SAM. And uh, like we've mentioned with limited personnel, um, SAM will be able to do more of the work for you and be able to use that personnel in other areas. And if you don't mind me asking, how much do you pay for one of your staff members? Mm, I'd say about probably $23 per hour. Okay. And um, so essentially you'd be paying the same. And wouldn't you agree that Sam would be doing um, at least twice the work for you? 
I suppose so, yeah. Okay, and by doing half the work for you, you'll be able to use that for some other areas, correct? That's correct. Okay. Now, um, do you have any other concerns besides that? Well, I'm also a little bit concerned about how much training is going to be required for my staff to actually understand and um, will they be able to use it as efficiently as you say? That's a good question. Um, I'm glad you brought that up again. Um, actually, with SAM, training is required. We have a three to five day program that will um, implement on your staff. And um, with SAM, we actually call it a high end system and where your staff members cannot craft the keys. Now, what that means to you is that if you have any problems with SAM, um, your actual staff won't have to. Um, come in and do the work themselves. All they would have to do is call Dell and get a technician on the phone, and then the technician can actually log on to a web browser and diagnose your problem right then and there. If, however, there is something wrong with the hardware itself, then your person will come out and replace that for you. That's reassuring. And to be a little bit more reassuring for you, John Bellman from Capstone Unified School District, he felt the same way about his um, training and his staff members not being so efficient. But his exam has actually worked out quite well for him, and the staff was able to catch on using it very well, and it was very easy for him. So, can you see how the training staff now will, or training program will improve your staff? Actually, yes, I can. Um, John and I are old school buddies, so I completely try to trust his judgment. Um, John's a good, uh, John's a good guy, so. Okay, and is there any other concerns that you have? Um, actually, uh, I do have one more concern. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I hear that Bell, um, Bell Stan has problems uh, interfacing with Hewlett Packard's uh, internet small computer system. Um, what, what do you have to say about that? Um, well, there's always new devices coming out um, where if at all you do have a Hewlett Packard design product that will be able to implement for you. So it should be a problem. Dell usually can work around you and we will be able to customize for you and anything to you in your school district to make sure that it works out for you. Okay. Any other concerns that you might have? Um, no, not that I can think of right now, okay. um, So what we normally do um, is, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I actually have written down here some of the benefits um, of SAM and okay. that I have. And so let's just go through them and make sure that we agree upon yeah. and make sure there's nothing um, else that you have. That'd be great. Okay. So SAM will consolidate all your servers, um, all the 35, into one database, so you'll be able to control them better, correct? Correct. And you'll also, um, if one of your servers breaks down, um, SAM will be allowed to um, use its two-way system and allow you that access to that data, correct? Yeah, correct. Um, also, with limited personnel, like we've mentioned, um, with using SAM, you'll be able to use more staff in other areas. Yeah, that's perfect for us. Okay, good. And um, you'll also be able to s disperse um, more of the storage from SAM to different areas, being able to utilize that storage a little bit better, correct? Correct. Okay, and um, SAM, or, I'm sorry, Dell will also be there for any problems that you might have. Um, if you have any problems, all you have to do is call a technician and we'll do all the work for you. That sounds great, Katie. Perfect. Okay, so um, we actually will deliver on Wednesday, um, and then we normally will in install the actual SAM the rest of that week. What we normally do is have to start the training process the next week, so you have that week to train your staff, get you started right away. Mm -hmm. So does um, Wednesday or Thursday work better for you? Wednesday works better. Okay, so if I can just get your signature right here. Just Where down again? Here, just down the bottom. Okay. And thank you so much, guests, for meeting with, meeting with me today. Okay. If you have any problems or any questions in the meantime, please feel free to give me a call. All right. Thank you, Katie.